Hi, this is Shreyas Agnihotri, member of technical staff at Cohesity. Today I'll be walking you through the Cohesity extension for vCloud Director. Now, if you are a managed service provider using vCloud Director based infrastructure, this extension enables you to provide self service backups and restores to your tenants. Let's take a closer look. I'm logging into my vCloud Director instance as the service provider. Once you log in as the service provider, you'll see the list of organizations. To install the Coesity extension, you need to first install VMware's Plugin Lifecycle Management plugin. I have it already installed on my setup. Once you have this installed, you can simply upload the zip file provided by Coesity using the upload button. This will show you the version for the plugin. You can click Next. Please make sure to check the scope for tenant as well as the provider. Now here you can choose whether you want to publish this extension for all the tenants or only for specific ones. In this demo, I'm going to select Publish for all tenants. And then we can just hit Finish. At the end of this, you should see Cohesity plugin listed in this list of plugins. Now that the Cohesity plugin is installed, you can simply click on the hamburger menu at the top and click on data protection. This will open up the configuration section where you can add the Cohesity clusters. Let's go ahead and add one. You can give the cluster a friendly name and also mention either the FQDN or IP address. Select the domain name, as well as the service account that will be used to talk to Coesity. As soon as you provide the credentials, uh, the extension will fetch the list of Coesity tenants. You can go ahead and map your vCloud tenants to the Coesity tenants. And then you can go ahead and click Save. And that concludes the configuration on the service provider side. Next, I'm going to log out and log in as the tenant. Here, I'm logging in as a tenant user. Once you're logged in as the tenant user, the vCloud Director UI will show you the list of virtual machines and vApps that this particular tenant owns. I have a couple of vApps here. And let's go ahead and click on the hamburger menu again. And I'll go ahead and click on data protection. This will open up the tenant view for the Coesity vCloud extension. Note that you can see at a glance how many vApps the tenant has how many VMs are included in those vApps, how many of them are running, as well as how many of them are protected. You can also click on the list of virtual data centers and get a nice summary for each VM or vApp. You can filter and check the ones that are unprotected. And optionally, you can choose to protect them. Here, I'm selecting a protection job to make these VMs part of. I'll go ahead and hit save. And as you can see, now the VM shows up in the list of protected VMs. For the VMs that are already protected, you can also start on-demand backups. I'll go ahead and start a backup job for Acme Demo VM5. And if I go back to the Cohesity UI, you will see that the protection job is running. Going back to the vCloud Director extension, you can also restore the VMs or files and folders within those VMs. Let's try to search for a few files. I'm gonna search for a file called desktop.ini and it will list all the possible matches for that particular file. I can just go ahead and select the file and hit continue. 
I can choose the snapshot that I wanted to restore it from. And then I can specify the username and password of the VM that I'm restoring the file to. Once that is specified, I can also select the overwrite existing file and folder option in case the file already exists and click restore. After the confirmation, the restore job will get started and you can also monitor the progress of this job right from the extension. And that was a basic overview of the Coesity extension for vCloud Director. Hope you found this video useful and please provide us your feedback at coesity-api-sdks at the rate cohesity.com.